It's Sunday. Time to break out the SBRs. Interesting thing about this VZ61 is that I cannot bring this in as a pistol in Massachusetts. I had to do this up as an SBR to actually get it imported here. I went with the Code 4 Defense furniture on this. I have their modern front end kit, and then I have their stock on this, which is what I used for the SBR paperwork. And then I threw on this Magpul uh, rail mounted vertical foregrip. I like the front end kit. You kind of need something to hold on to with this barrel just, you know, barely sticking out past your hand. You do get a little bit of blast from it. One issue on this though, I had this out in a couple of videos and this optic mount, that Picatinny rail is, I don't know if you can see it, it's angled up slightly just enough that I can't get any sight actually zeroed in. Couldn't correct that, so I just threw the UUQ up front. The only issue from the factory was is just completely dry. Just needed to oil it up really good. Um, other than that, my only other complaint, I need to get like original magazines or something. These are kind of tight fitting them in there. And the other negative, you um, are not getting a full mag in there unless the bolts cock back. I mean, there are a couple guns like that, but I don't like that. I prefer it to, you know, be able to insert, but there's no way that's going in. This reminds me of the Phantom from GoldenEye. I know it's the Claw, but it also looks like the Phantom now. Let's sight this in on some paper. We're sighted in decent enough that I think I can pull off what I need to for today. Let's drop these two Texas stars real quick. I told you we would get 100% accuracy next time. <laughs> I'm actually really liking the Scorpion right now. It comes in at three and a half pounds with all the stuff that I have on here. Excluding the magazine, 3.54 pounds right here. I have a little steel animal farm over there on the table. Let's pick that off right now with the scorpion. Let's go check. Black is a terrible color for these. No damage though. No dents. Just just splatter. I'm lucky I'm only using 380. We'll have to see what 9mm does to that later. We got a cantaloupe up next. I want to get one round straight in there and see what happens. Great ass! That's a decent little blowout from the hollow point. Let's switch it around the other way and see if we can split it. Time to finish it off. Let's finish off with some sodas and then we'll move on. Soda pop and scorpion. Let's move on to 9mm. Let's 
time for the Uzi 9mm. <laughs> Get out of here, do it now. We finally got the Uzi approved for SPR. We got rid of that nasty, ugly 16 inch barrel. This is much more aesthetically pleasing. I don't care what you say, aesthetics do matter in guns. Just look at that. Oldie but a goodie. We're still rocking that UUQ on this airsoft Picatinny mount. <laughs> Hey, it's working. Let me group this on paper, see if we're still dialed in, then we'll go from there. Let's go. We are low. Animal farm time. Hopefully we can find them afterwards. Well, that should definitely be fun to find. I'll be right back. I found three out of four. We're missing a chicken, but this is official confirmation that black is a terrible color for those little steel animals. Chicken is gone. Texas Star with the Uzi. Let's drop these three stars real quick. No missing allowed. We didn't miss. Let's finish off the Uzi. We're gonna do the four sodas down there and we're gonna split that candle up in half and then maybe we'll do a dueling tree. All right, let's start from there. Nine millimeter. That's the reason why the Terminator wanted one. Last but not least, well, definitely not least, we have the HK SP5, or basically a civilian MP5. This came as a pistol, and then we threw this stock on for the SBR. The only other thing I've done for this is just this Zenith optic rail. Stock otherwise than that. Let's see where we are on paper. I think I'm shooting a little bit. I think it was left. Maybe a little bit right. We'll, we'll find out. I need to adjust the sight just a tiny little bit. We're still missing the chicken. Hopefully we don't lose these ones now because they're painted a much brighter color than black. Let's drop them real quick. I can already see them from here. That's much better. I think it's officially Texas star time. That one plate on the left over there is really bothering me. I'm gonna start with that.
Still got rounds to spare. That was the first malfunction I've had with the MP5. Or SP5, sorry. It's cantaloupe and soda time. It's getting really windy out. Let's wrap up with these sodas. Then I'm going to check back at 100 yards and see what's back there. I'm gonna go check that table. It's gonna have like 57 channels of nine millimeter through it. I'm back at 100 yards here, downrange. It's been raining like crazy. I don't know about you guys, but I enjoy shooting the water. It's just fun. Well, sorry for that lackluster ending with the SP5. I'll have to take this back and give it a good cleaning and lube job. I couldn't leave you hanging like that. It's day two, I came back out, the gun is clean. Now I have to see if it actually runs. That's the real part. Let's see if it runs. I think we're back in business. All right. Now that officially wraps up this video. So I will see you in the next one. See ya.